For our uh, first supplementary problems, uh, we are given with the function of cosine uh, x over 2 minus uh, pi over x plus square root of 3 over 2. Now, now we are asked to find the, the number of iterations needed to obtain an answer which is accurate to three decimal places uh, using the bisection method. Uh, calculate also the recent error of the initial estimates and also the last iterate. And uh, we are asked to compute and verify it using MATLAB. Now to answer the first uh, question regarding the um, finding the value of the number of iterations needed to obtain the answer accurate up to three decimal places, we have here the formula that we have the learner or pass uh, presentation wherein um, a and B is our initial estimates. So as we have said, uh, since uh, we have the we have the luxury no, to use a software tool which is MATLAB. So the concept that we uh, that uh, we have taught to you is actually to solve no, this equation first, and then for example, uh, upon solving that equation, it will yield. Uh, uh, root or the, uh, the exact root of this equation and then from that we will uh, try to uh, make an initial guess or an educational guess with respect to the number or uh, with respect to the value of a and b so a and b is actually the our initial guesses so uh, n is actually the uh, accurate uh, e1 uh, this uh, designates the uh, number of accuracy up to three decimal places, which is uh, 0.001. As you can see, one, two, three decimal places. So uh, for a problem for four decimal places, it would require you to change this E1 into 0.0001. No? So three zeros and then one. Now, uh, how can we find the A and B? So to find that one, uh, we need to use MATLAB. So as we have said, uh, each version of MATLAB has a different uh, function uh, with respect to certain sy syntaxes. Uh, so uh, this version is 6.0 on your uh, mobile phone. No? It is an up-to-date version. So um, as we have said, no, the, uh, the first thing that you'll do is actually to uh, search uh, on the internet uh, the latest syntaxes. So, for example, you don't have the uh, the internet, no. So the syntax is look for, and then try to so uh, and then try to look for a syntax that is related to what you are solving. For example, in this we are to solve the uh, the value of x. So somehow the keyword for that is solve. And then for example, you want uh, another logarithm. Just type logarithm here, etc. So we all know already that the function to solve this equation is actually solved. And then uh, another syntax to aid you for the uh, examples where uh, the syntax says, since, no, as we have said, it is uh, the various, uh, various MATLAB versions has a different syntax each. No? So in this version, it only requires us to have the following syntax as solved and then the equation itself. So we will uh, do that. So typing solved and then apostrophe cosine of x over 2 and then minus uh, double parentheses and then x over 2 minus pi pi divided by 6 and then plus uh, the syntax for square root is sqrt uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and then apostrophe parenthesis 
That's it. So since we, uh, as you all know, no, the variable is x, so the default here, uh, no need to initialize since we have a default variable for x. No? In the case that uh, this variable, uh, for example, has a different variable, you need to initialize that variable. No? So in this case, the default is x. So let's try to solve that one. So entering, no, press and enter. As you can see here, the answer is negative uh, 4 over 3 pi. So copy that one again, press enter for a much more numeric value with the uh, uh, decimal places. So the answer is 4.1887 uh, and so on. So basically, this is our reference point. So meaning, uh, this is the exact and then we will try to solve it numerically. So um, based on this one, negative 4, as you can see, a negative 4 and then negative 5. We have just uh, added uh, some indeter uh, around the negative 4 up. No? So that will uh, arrive to negative 5 here. So uh, based on this problem, uh, for uniformity sake, uh, so uh, we define this as shown, no? so negative 4 and then negative 5. For example, uh, the exact root uh, on your solution is 3 or, or 3.2, for example. No? Uh, the MATLAB has an answer of 3.2. So the initial guess that you will choose is actually 3 and 4, uh, such as that. And another example for um, uh, the root for your uh, for your equation is, for example, negative 2.2. And then you will choose the value for A and B. For A, you will choose negative 2. And then for B, you will choose negative 3 for uniformity sake. Now, for example, uh, this problem doesn't require you to, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't show, no? It doesn't show the initial guesses that we will be using. So the main importance of for this is that our iterations will be the same all throughout. And then similarly, our answers will be uh, the same with the corresponding iterations. So with that being said, now we will be choosing negative 4 and negative 5 since our root has been provided as negative 4.1887. And then as you can see, it has a long uh, decimal place. Uh, we can format it no? for uh, this uh, shorter version. Uh, you can press format short. And then uh, just copy again this one. And then uh, it will the output a four decimal place. No? So as an additional reading, you can actually uh, browse into the concept of format. So here is it, no? So format long, up to 15 decimal, uh, 15 digits. Format short, five digits only. And then this will be our, uh, we are using this one. Format short, actually, no? Uh, five digits long, and then 15 digits. So you can see one, two, three, four, and five. That one. Uh, let us continue the process. So. As we have said, negative 4.18 is the answer. So our initial guess is the negative 4 and then uh, negative 5. So substituting the values on our equation uh, yields to this form. And then again, uh, you can, uh, we can uh, try to input this no, on MATLAB in order for us to get the answer of 10 iterations or 9.9. .9 seven no, uh, if you would like no you could use a uh, loss of logarithm here in order for you to bring down the exponent of two on this side and then uh, perform your algebra concept to in order to solve for 9.97 uh, let us uh, show that one uh, quickly uh, solved parentheses uh, two two raised to n is equivalent to 1 over 0 0.001. So this uh, 1 has been solved as negative 4 minus negative 5 is equivalent to uh, 1. So continuing. 
that one. So as you can see, the answer is 9.965. So that is the same as this one. Approximately that uh, we are to expect 10 iterations here. So the answer for letter E, the number of iterations needed to obtain an, accu an, an accuracy of three decimal places uh, in finding the root of this equation is 10 iterations. Now for letter B, using bisection method, uh, we are asked to find the estimate of the real root of the given, which is accurate also up to three decimal places. So this is the foremost step. No, for example, that uh, uh, we don't have the um, MATLAB tool. No? So, uh, so uh, the concept is sign change condition. No? So we all know already that uh, it belongs in between here. No? So for example, we do not know, as we have said, so we will actually try to uh, guess no? this one. I guess negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and so on, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, numerous times. No? So the process that we uh, that uh, I have shown to you uh, using MATLAB directly to solve the value of x is for efficiency purposes. No? So we uh, are the concept of reverse engineering. No? So we all know the answer. We just try to look back on the steps on how to solve that one. So as we have said, it is in between. Uh, negative 4 and then negative 5. And then how can we get the, the, the following values? So just substitute the value of negative 5 and the negative 4, negative 6 and negative 3 to this equation uh, to confirm this one. So let us verify the value for this one. So how can we uh, solve that one? So your first step is actually to... Um, perform the table. No? Uh, just to confirm that using sign change condition, there is a root between negative 5 and then negative 4. Let's just copy the following equation. This equation. And then uh, initialize variables. X as is equivalent to negative 5. And then press enter. So as you can see, uh, negative 0 0.12.70. So you will fill these blanks. No? And then another value for x is equivalent to negative 4. Up arrow key. And then 0 0.0510 uh, as shown here. So meaning there is a sign change from negative, negative, it we had become positive. So therefore, as expected, it is in between negative 5 and then negative 4. Now let us perform this uh, process no? manually. So I, am, I will just copy this one. And then maybe four times. That one. Next. So take note for the tables in number of iterations. Uh, A, initial first initial guess, the bisected or the midpoint. B, the second initial guess, the function when substituted uh, by the value of A here, B here, uh, A, X of N, uh, and then B are the equations. So Initially, we uh, we know that A and B as our initial guess as follows. No? So uh, we choose the value of A and B. So normally, A, uh, A is the lower limit no? or the lower part. So as shown here. So based on the on our uh, tab uh, lines, no? As we know no, from the real number line, so negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, no, negative 1, 0, and so on. So uh, negative 5 is the lower value, so we will be uh, choosing that one and then put that one on the A part. And then similarly to this one, negative 4. So how can we solve the value of X n? 
Now, to solve the value of x and using the bisection method, it requires us to use the following formula. So a plus b over two, no? midpoint. This is just the midpoint for the uh, a and b, our initial guesses. So let us input that on MATLAB. <clears throat> So, A is equivalent to negative 5, semicolon. B is equivalent to negative 4, semicolon. Uh, and then, Xn is equivalent to A plus B divided by 2. That one. So, the answer is 4.5. Uh, I'll just copy that one. Paste that one here. And then how to solve the functions? Just substitute the value of 5 here. So initialize the value of A. And then our FA now. Copy. Let us copy this equation. And then FA is equivalent to. So F A is equivalent to the following. So we'll just uh, change the variable on the on this equation as A, since we will substitute the value of A on this equation. So pressing enter, so that will become here. So no, uh, let us just take note for the sign. Yeah, just this, that will be negative, and then um, b also. So value of b is equivalent to negative four. And then up arrow key, change again f a to f b. Similarly to this one, uh, d. Press enter positive, and then uh, oops. Uh, f of xn, so the value of xn is equivalent to negative 4.5. And then up arrow key, change that one, xn. And then this one is xn. So that will be negative. So as shown here, on, uh, let us try to analyze based on the sign conventions and then the sign change condition. So as you can see, uh, there is a sign sign change from the midpoint bisected from a and b no function uh, so function uh, x and n x n and then b there is a sign change from negative to positive so therefore there is a root as expected between negative 4.5 and negative 4 since the real root is negative 4.18 so uh, from that our new a value or the lower limit no, for our initial guesses, from uh, we will copy. We will copy the midpoint. No, on the midpoint, we will put that one on our uh, first initial guess as a. Since as you can see, there is a change condition here. Similarly to this one, copy that one. So that will be our new, no, new initial guesses based on the sign change condition here. And then we will just repeat again the process as uh, stated before. So no change for this one. So that will become positive. Uh, and then we will just copy also the, si the, uh, the sign here. So our only unknown part is the value of xn and f of xn. Uh, so, so how to solve for xn? Here. So how to solve for xn? Use the following formula. So take note to initialize the variables. A is equivalent to negative 4.5. And then B is equivalent to negative 4. No changes for that. And then uh, we are now ready to solve for xn. Type xn up arrow key. And then uh, uh, the formula for bisection is A plus B, as so shown here. So press enter, that will be equivalent to one. And then uh, what is the sign change? Uh, what is the sign when we substitute 
this negative 4.25 to this mean equation. So that is a uh, question. So uh, and. Substituting first x in mm, x in value of x in that one is enter that will become negative. As you can see, there is a sign change condition on f of x in and then f of b. So therefore, uh, we will just copy here. Since no change for that, we will just put on the third iteration. And then uh, from this portion, there is a strain change from function of x of n. So copy that one to this equation. And then again, same process before. Since we copy, so the sign will the, be the same. That will become negative here. And then similarly to this portion that will become positive. 